It is the compositing window manager that refuses to die. You are watching the Compiz Reloaded installation tour right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. This series that I'm creating here will supersede everything that I have up on Compiz, and we're using the latest Compiz Reloaded. If you point your web browser to the link in the description, it will take you to my website here at cupoflinux.com. We have a, a video already in here which gives you uh, the overview of uh, Compiz Reloaded. In this section we have resources that you can look up which will have information on Compiz maintenance, the uh, Compiz Arch Linux documentation which you can use if you wish to use Compiz as a standalone window manager and this release certainly makes it possible with all of the features that they have available. I've also included an installation order for those of you who wish to build this yourself and you will need to install each of these packages as they are listed here. Uh, help you save some trouble. I also have uh, the installation procedure by family here. Okay, and the first one is uh, the Ubuntu install script method, but I have tested the installation scripts, and I have actually found that this actually works on Manjaro, and it should work on other Linux distributions. The only thing is, though, if it's unable to install any dependencies because it, it's using apt-get commands, uh, if, it's, if it detects that you're not using an Ubuntu or I believe, I believe this also works with Debian. I could be wrong, but I believe it works with Debian as well. Debian or Ubuntu. Um, if, it un, if it's unable to install the dependencies, basically it is going to give you a list of things that you can install and then um, uh, it'll compile and build the packages for you once you have all the dependencies satisfied. So that is the uh, install script method. And there's information uh, here, and there is uh, the web address available here. If you're uh, using Arch or Manjaro, such as I am, uh, you uh, just use the... Uh, listing here and build from the AUR. You, I've got tons of videos showing you how to build packages from the AUR, so that is not the scope of today's demonstration. All right, also, you have uh, Debian, and there's a web page where there is a repository that you can add to your system to install. Uh, I also have detailed here instructions and a web page for those of you using Fedora. There is also a link for OpenSUSE. And if you're using an advanced distro such as uh, Gentoo, Slackware, that sort of thing, you're going to need to grab those packages from GitHub and compile them yourself. You'll need to make sure that you have all the dependencies pre-installed before building the packages. And instructions for building these packages are in the install file within the tarballs. Now, something I want to mention, if you do use the install scripts here, and let's go ahead and highlight this. I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to select Open This Link in a New Tab. Tab because we're going to come back to this page. Uh, something I noticed, and I talked to Soro yesterday on uh, the uh, on the IRC channel. That is at Freenode IRC in the hashtag Compiz Reloaded Room. I spoke with Soro and told him that the uh, Fusion Icon package on Git um, did not have instructions for installation because the install scripts do not uh, install. Um, the Fusion icon, but he did give me the information on uh, setting this up, and that information is right here, so you can copy and paste this code if you used the install scripts. And you may even be able to uh, get those install scripts working on Gentoo Slackware and other advanced distros uh, if you are so inclined. 
uh, if you enjoy uh, my comp his settings and all the really cool special effects I do have a link here uh, you must be a member of the couple Linux forum in order to see the download link and there is an MD5 sum that you can do a check against we had somebody that indicated they had a problem with grandpa opening the file I use in grandpa myself and I know it works so we got an MD5 sum so that you can uh, check against your download uh, also, today there was an update in Manjaro and something I want to point out. If you are using Manjaro, a package named Emerald09 will ask to replace the Emerald Git if you have it installed. Uh, you may end up breaking Compiz if you allow it to update. You may also get other errors. And uh, since I obviously run without window borders, I don't have any, and I'll show you, you'll see here, you know, uh, on my windows, there are no borders, no little X's and that sort of thing. I have that set up this way by the design, and that's the way I like it. Um, but that's just for me personally. Um, so I just removed Emerald Git from my system. But you can use ignore package equals Emerald dash Git in your Etsy Pac-Man cont file, and it will prevent Pac-Man from offering to uh, push that update to you. So that's all the information you need here. Uh, for And as I'm going through uh, this tour series on Compiz Reloaded, I am going to be keeping this resource updated. So I will be adding a lot of stuff. You can see this has already been read 562 times, so I know this is a hot topic because this just went up a few days ago, and I know you guys are really excited about this. So let's go ahead and uh, dig into this. This is the Compiz release announcement, and I just want to show you really quick Okay, I already have git installed, so if I just run this command here, right-click and then copy this, I'm going to open up a terminal, right-click and paste this command into the terminal and press enter. What it is doing is it has cloned those scripts. If I go into my home directory now, you're going to see that there is a directory called scripts. So if I just issue this command here, you're going to see what it is doing now is it is already done the checking on my system for the dependencies and now it's actually building these packages so if you look here you're going to notice there is an src folder compiz it's already building compiz core now and it's going to go through everything in its listing and it is going to build these packages and then once completed it will ask you for your password very it it just doesn't get any easier than this now something i need to mention if you don't have the dependencies installed this script is going to give you a list of items that you are going to need to install so that it can compile those packages and because there are so many different types of linux distributions in use out there today you're just going to have to use your package manager so if you're on a debian or an ubuntu based distribution all right, you're going to use Synaptic. Uh, if you're going, if you're on a Fedora or, or RPM system, I think they have uh, Yast that they use for that. Uh, on Manjaro, if I open up my package manager, we have a graphical one called uh, Pemec, and we also have Octopi, and you can even use a graphical tool such as this if you don't want to get your hands dirty in the command line. Um, so. Let me go ahead and close it. So we, you do have a graphical package manager options available to you uh, if you want to use those. All right. And as you can see, it's already built the Compiz core. It's asking for my password. I'm not going to give it because, well, I've already installed these packages. So I'm just going to control C. But that's all there is to it. I tested this yesterday in uh, a virtual machine with Linux Mint uh, installed in it. Now, uh, in VirtualBox, I have had problems with the past few releases of getting uh, Compiz working uh, in a virtual machine. 
And uh, this is a known issue. At least for me, it's been a known issue. So uh, I really didn't care to fight with it. And this is why I don't have this uh, being built as a demonstration in a virtual machine. Because I really can't show it to you effectively. Just take my word for it that I did run these scripts in Linux Mint as shown right here. And everything worked on this. So Soro did a magnificent job of setting up these scripts. A lot of work and a lot of thought and time and effort. Blood, sweat and tears went into this. And so uh, he has been uh, very, very helpful um, right there. And I also want to give uh, some additional honorable mentions uh, to the community. And uh, so real quick, let me go ahead and pull up uh, the Git page because, um, you know, uh, <laughs> after the age of 45, folks, the royalty on your body has expired. And the first thing that goes is your memory and I tend to forget people's names here so uh, I do want to take the time to uh, mention uh, X Ravon um, in uh, IRC who has been very very helpful uh, Soro as well and uh, also the uh, maintainer on um, Arch um, her name is uh, Shadow K Ogre um, has also been very, very helpful. My last video, I said uh, she was a he, and that was a mistake. I apologize for that. Um, I, I just wasn't in the know, and X Ravan pointed that out to me. Um, and I understand, now, I haven't had a chance to talk to Ravit, but um, I understand that uh, Ravit, I believe, is the uh, Compiz Mate, or Mate Compiz. I can't remember. <laughs> I, th I got it reversed, that sort of thing. I believe he is the leader of the uh, Mate Compiz. And so they all join forces to uh, bring us uh, Compiz Reloaded. So pretty much uh, that's everything I wanted to say as far as installation goes. Because, I mean, a, a number of packages, a number of resources here have... Uh, pretty much made this fairly easy and I think we've got a pretty good coverage of most of the distributions out there that would attempt to want to run this. A word of warning though, if you are using an Ubuntu based distribution um, and you're running Unity or you're running Gnome Shell um, Pantheon or any other desktop um, that uses libmutter, you're going to have problems. Uh, now, Unity, of course, that one uh, uses uh, Compiz 9 series, and the Compiz 9 series was specifically built to work with Unity. Um, so you don't want to install uh, Compiz Reloaded if you're using um, regular Ubuntu. Um, you're going to have uh, compatibility issues. I recommend that you use this with XFCE, LXDE. This will also work with Mate, and it will work with GNOME Classic, I have been told. And I think GNOME Shell does ship with a GNOME Classic mode, so you can try that. Um, I haven't. And I don't think I'm even going to look at that. So um, you can try and use this with LXQT. And Compiz will also work with Enlightenment 17. It was brought to my attention that uh, E17 has a Compiz module with it for lots of eye candy. And I may eventually take a look at, the, look at it from a software aspect because I don't do distribution reviews on this channel anymore. Uh, so I may just take a look at that one day in the future from a software aspect. Um, so E17 will work with this. And you can use Compiz Reloaded with KDE. Um, and I believe you might even be able to get this working with the latest uh, KDE Plasma or KDE 5. Um, the thing is, though, that has KWIN. And KWIN does all the effects that Compiz does. Well, not quite as nicely, uh, but it is a comprehensive 
you know, window manager in its own right because it does have some really nice effects. It has some nice features for accessibility and that sort of thing. So it is another option um, for those of you who, um, you know, prefer to use KWIN. All right, that is all I have on this for today. In our next episode, we are going to be going over a general options. And if we look in our settings manager here, we're going to be looking at commands that we can assign to this. And you can um, either set keyboard commands, you can set um, uh, button bindings, key bindings, and edge bindings. So just by moving the mouse over to a portion of the screen, you'll be able to, um, you know, do some commands with this stuff. So it's going to be really cool. All the goodies we're going to be doing, I'm going to go into the general options in greater detail. And we're going to talk about Mate Compare the Mate compatibility section. And you know what? We're going to cheat this thing. I'm going to see if I can actually uh, put some XFCE commands into this, enable this option, and see if we can tweak this thing to get it to work with other desktops. So general options is coming up next, and we'll see you next time. Peace out.